guys, I'm Natalia, I'm with Mom's Dish, and today I am so happy to have you back because we're going to be making something really amazing. And today we're going to be making the best, the perfect crepe recipe. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. It has the most raving reviews on our website, but I want you to see how easy it is to make it. You guys know me well. The ingredients have to be super simple, something that you have at home. So here's what we need. We need six eggs, three fourth cup of flour, it could be all purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, olive oil, but use light olive oil, or you can use avocado oil, as long as it doesn't have that strong flavor. Sometimes I use coconut oil, and then two cups of milk and a little bit of butter for cooking. The first step what you'll need to do is combine eggs, sugar, and flour in a bowl, and we'll whisk it up until it's completely smooth with no lumps. So let's get this going. Let's put the eggs in here. Adding some sugar and flour. Show us what you got. <laughs> is that me or is... <laughs> This is awesome. Did you really break it? You did. Okay, we can still make this work. The next step would be is to pour in the milk and oil and just kind of whisk it up for a second more and you'll be ready to go. So let's do this. Milk. I'm gonna stir this up just slightly and then we'll add oil. Some people add a melted butter instead of oil too and I don't like it because it gets hardened so if you use cold ingredients, it gets hardened and like it leaves those buttery lumps and I don't like that. I wanna show you the consistency of the crepe batter. It looks really runny. That's what makes the crepes really good and like paper thin. Look at this. It just pours out almost like water. Nothing like the pancakes would be. It's super runny and that's what makes them super good. And for the frying part, you will want to set the temperature to medium high and you want the pan to heat up. I will link to our favorite pan that we use in description. That way you guys can also get it because it's an amazing pan. We use it for a lot of different dishes. So let's butter the pan and you want all the sides to be buttered, just slightly. And when you see the butter sizzling just slightly, that's when you wanna pour your first crepe. The first crepe is never the perfect crepe, and that's totally fine. We have a lot of volunteers in our family that usually snatch it away. Pour some crepe batter. So as I pour, I twist the sides. This is a good time to have a TV running in front of you or a laptop with the show and just enjoy the time. I love making crepes for that reason because it's like my mommy time. I get to watch some shows like Housewives <laughs> and just make crepes. So now we're gonna turn it over. I like to run around the sides in case there was something that was stuck and then I actually use my fingers and I flip it over. If you are prone to getting burns, don't do this. Use a fork or a spatula, I don't mind. This side will take just like a second and we'll just get rid of this crepe and make another one and repeat. <laughs> Who's here? What's up? What's up with your shirt? It's dirty. Did you put on makeup? No. Look no. at me. I don't have makeup. What is your name? Tim. Tim <laughs> Faye. Tim <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, Surprise. so do you have a fa favorite way of eating um, crepes? Yeah, yes. I actually use butter and sugar. As weird as it is, I mean, I know people like Nutella and all kinds of jams and stuff like that. I just like butter and sugar. Okay, I don't know. you go um, first. Okay. You sure? Yeah, show, show them your trick. Tim has a simple. whole trick and a system. Whenever I'm making crepes without him here or like on a camera, he sneaks in every time I get the new crepe out and they just disappear secretly. Not every crepe, uh, but yes, most of them. <laughs> and they start with a very, very hot one. If it just comes out of the pan, it has to be super, super hot. You put it on the plate and then you put some butter. Okay, just like you that. Rub it. Uh, just waiting to get in my mouth and you put some sugar over it just like that don't judge me for my sugar doesn't happen every day but I'll let the butter it all melt. goes in here go straight to the muscle <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it melt a little bit flip it over one two oh, so is no. that a Siberian way of eating crepes I don't know um, you know what probably is because back in Russia um, we well we didn't have butter first of all we just had mangarine 
Is that what you Mandarin. call it? Mandarin. Mandarin? Yes. And uh, we didn't have sugar, so we either did not use that or use or use ma mandarin. Gosh, there's a lot of butter. In there's it. a lot of butter. It may be a little more than I'm used to it, but there's nothing wrong with butter. Yeah. Do you want a piece? No. I'm going to do it my way. There is also a recipe on our blog that you can do your own cream cheese filling with some condensed milk. Actually, you like condensed milk. You might like that too. I do. That's one of our very popular recipes, but this is the way we eat it in the family because boys just like to make their own and just do their own filling. They're almost home from school. Why are you laughing? Because I was just going to put that in like the whole thing in my mouth and <laughs> you like me to eat appropriate. Okay, so let's do this. My way. Okay, I want to see. I'm just going to do a crepe. And we're out of Nutella right now, so I usually would add a little bit of Nutella. Mm. Oops, I just made a mess. It's okay. A little bit of raspberry jam on top. Okay. I think this is going to be my crepe too. Just because the raspberry jam dropped there. Then a little bit of bananas on top. Serve it with some berries. A little bit of strawberries on top. Uh, let me hold it up for everybody to see. There you go. Look at it. Nice. And you know what? If, if the crepe is warm enough, you can kind of contrast it with a little bit with some vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. That'll Everything goes with vanilla ice cream. You know, really anything goes with it. Do you want to try my way? I do. All right. Oops. Get a little bit of everything and... So this is the way we would serve the crepes. For the boys, for Tim, for all of us to kind of snack on. If I have any leftovers, I use this like storage containers and I stack them in here. They stay fresh the next day and we just leave them in the fridge overnight. They do not smell like fridge. And this container is amazing. Will you link it below for people sure, to see? Sure, I'll link it. Okay. So we store a lot of our food in this container, but this is the best way to keep it fresh. If you intend to freeze them, which I can't even see how that's possible if you have a leftovers, but if you do, then put them in a Ziploc bag. So that would be the, another option. True. So a Ziploc bag or the container. Yes. Let me see it. Yep. It's, Very they cool. stack really nicely in the fridge. So and we have that's a lot we of do. containers. We're all about containers. <laughs> yeah. So. Our whole fridge is full of them. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate you coming along to hang out with us. I would love to hear more in comments what you guys think. If you've tried them, if it's your favorite recipe. Yeah. Also, click the bell button. I was told it notifies you. That way you guys let us know that you guys like it and make us inspired. Yeah. So because we definitely want to know what you like and what you think about these videos. We're excited for 2020 to get more to come. At least once a week. Yes. Deal? That's our commitment. That's our commitment. To you. <laughs> right. All right, bye-bye.